YouTube, what's going on? Witty P coming back with another one. Let's get it. Let's keep the fire going. Today, I'm going to do a reaction video. I'm going to do a reaction video to the NFL and the medical staff really dropping the ball Thursday night. The NFL and the medical staff really dropped the ball Thursday night by letting Miami Dolphins star quarterback Tua Tuagalova back on the field after he had just received a concussion four days prior Sunday against the Buffalo Bills. The NFL and the medical staff really dropped the ball. This is serious, and he received back injuries and neck injuries Thursday night as a result of this. So the NFL and the medical staff really dropped the ball. So I want to do a reaction to this, and I'm going to start with an article from ESPN.com because the NFL has received backlash and repercussions from this. So this is going to be a good one if you're in the sports, if you're in the football. Stick with me before I start the video. Please watch the entire video. If you like it, subscribe to the channel to receive more content like this and just content about sports and various topics. Let's get it. Yeah, I'm going to start off with an article from ESPN.com because the NFL has received backlash and repercussions for, as a result of this. So, yeah, the unaffiliated Newell Trauma Consultant involved in clearing Miami Dolphins star quarterback Tua Tuagalova during the game Sunday against the Buffalo Bills has been fired. After it was found, he made several mistakes in his evaluation, sources told ESPN. A source said the NFL Players Association exercises rights to dismiss the consultant. The NFLPA and the league each have the right to fire a UNC without agreement from the other party. So yeah, the NFLPA stepped in and they got him up out of there. And that was serious. If you've seen the, the event that happened Thursday night, that was a scary scene. It almost looked like Tua was paralyzed. No joke. It really did. So I'm glad the NFLPA stepped in, you know, and got that, got the unaffiliated neural trauma up out of here, consulted up out of here, because that could have been, who knows what could have happened. He could have been, like I said, he could have been paralyzed out there on that field. That's just being real. He didn't move for like 10 minutes. NFL is money hungry, though. They'll put anybody out there on that field, you know, for viewership and and money and things like that. The NFL would, would do anything. They'll put anybody out there. They don't care. Then the Dolphins were undefeated at the time. They wanted to keep that going. You know, the Dolphins were 3-0 at the time. Cincinnati Bengals, the defender AFC champ. So, you know, that was a big game, but... It's not worth somebody's, you know, health and, you know, long-term ability. It's not. But the NFL, they don't care. All about a dollar. All about making money. So, this is what you get. So, definitely had to do a reaction to this because the NFL, like I said, they've received backlash and repercussions from this. So. This was unacceptable, very unacceptable, because this guy could have never played football again. So I'm glad he's, you know, able to still play again. And there should be no rush to get Tua back on the field. Should be no rush to get him back on the field. Hot tight, can't fumble the rock, can't fumble the bag. <laughs> but yeah, it's no rush to get him back on the field. NFL, they really dropped the ball, so. I'm happy the NFL Players Association was able to step in for those who don't know what the NFL PA stands for. They stepped in and did what they had to do because that was a scary scene and who knows what could have happened. So it probably couldn't have, you know, played another down again. And I was wondering when I seen Tua was gonna play, I said, how the hell he gonna play? He just had a concussion Sunday. There's no way he should be able to play on a short week like that. 
Tua was out there on a short week. You got, like I said, four days prior, he had just had a concussion. So he was out there on a short week. It's not like he had the, you know, 10 days or a bye week or anything like that. It was a short week right back out there. So it's good that Miles Garrett has been ruled out of the NFL NFL game tomorrow against the Atlanta Falcons. He was in a car accident earlier this week. So good to see that they're protecting him and they're trying to protect the players. But it's just a facade most of the time. But good that the Cleveland Browns are stepping in and protecting Miles Garrett after he was in a crazy car accident earlier in the week. So, yeah, I definitely want to do a reaction to this. Don't want to hold y'all too long. That's all I got for this one, but I had to, you know, put this out here because this was unacceptable. So, let me know what y'all think. Drop something down in the comments. You know, I can't stop though. I keep coming with the fire. Comment, like, subscribe, share the video. You know, this was unacceptable, so. But I can't stop. Woody P coming back with another one. Knock another one out. Bop, bop, bop. Let's get